Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Explore Costa Rica's arena much as Leslie Theresa and Jerry did on The Golden Bachelor, the ideal setting for romantic bliss. Costa Rica, what's not to love about it? Costa Rica is a veritable paradise with its magnificent beaches, beautiful mountain views, and ideal tropical weather. For their overnight dates in season one of The Golden Bachelor, Jerry went to Arenal, Costa Rica, with his last two women, Theresa and Leslie. There is all of this beautiful scenery around us, exclaimed Jerry, beaming with delight at his first visit to the stunning setting. All things are green, the noise of cicadas fills the trees, with a volcano as the backdrop, this is quite amazing. It's a wonderful spot to fall in love. Leslie concurred, saying, I'd never seen a place as beautiful as Costa Rica. This is more than I could have imagined. The noises, sights, and natural beauty of the forest are all incredibly captivating. This is incredible. I'm currently in bliss. Costa Rica is the ideal destination for a romantic getaway with your significant other because it offers something for everyone, whether they enjoy extreme outdoor sports or simply relaxing on the beach. Here's how to visit Costa Rica the way the cast of The Golden Bachelor did. After staying at the Springs Resort and Spa with his women, Jerry referred to the five-star establishment as spectacular right away. Theresa described the resort as the most breathtaking resort I have ever seen in my life and claimed that the accommodations are heaven on earth. The resort boasts five excellent dining options, a full-service spa with exceptional amenities, a breathtaking view of the arena volcano, and natural hot springs. With a total area of 165 acres and an elevation of 1,000, Feet above the Arenal Valley, the hotel property offers breathtaking views from every direction. When you think you and your significant other are the happiest people on earth, the Springs Resort and Spa steps in to elevate your bond. Who else is planning travel and emotions with us? Jerry made the most of his dates in Costa Rica by experiencing as much as the stunning nation has to offer. Jerry and his ladies were eager to see Costa Rica's natural splendor, so they went on horseback rides into the jungle and went rappelling down a 170-foot waterfall. In addition, the Springs Resort and Spa has an activity center featuring fishing, horseback riding, rock climbing, rappelling, wildcat feeding, and nature tours in addition to inflatable river kayaking and river tubing. You should definitely take your significant other to Arena, Costa Rica, but the whole family will love it too. Make travel plans to Costa Rica right away if you want to experience the amazing feeling that Jerry and his women had. Theresa Nist offers heartfelt tribute to her late spouse. On Jerry Turner's season of The Golden Bachelor, Theresa Nist is a finalist. She recently honored her late spouse on Instagram with a heartfelt post. To find out more, continue reading. All about the late husband of Theresa Nist. Billy Nist was the spouse of Theresa Nist. He died nine years ago. William Nist, or Billy, was his name. Theresa spoke about Jerry Turner when they went on their first date. This was a wonderful way for the two of them to interact because his wife also passed away. It might have contributed in part to her advancement to the Golden Bachelor's final two. Billy was experiencing kidney problems. He had hoped for a transplant at one point, but it never came to pass. Together, Thomas Tommy Nist, 46, and Jennifer Wollston, 38, have two children. Below is a photo that Theresa posted to her Instagram page of her son and his family. Theresa Nist posted a heartfelt remembrance of her late husband on Instagram. Given that they both lost spouses, she and Jerry have a lot in common. In her homage, she stated, I was 14 when I met Billy and he was 16 at the time. Our ages at marriage were 18 and 20. He served in the Vietnam War and was based in Berlin. There we lived for over a year and I had my first flight. I realized then, as I do today, that living in Berlin was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Today marks Billy's ninth anniversary of death. I'm commemorating my late spouse and all the warriors who gave their lives for our freedom to do the right thing rather than just do as we want. It will be intriguing to watch if Theresa or Leslie wins Jerry Turner over in the final episode of The Golden Bachelor. There are just two women left vying to be the one to pop the question first. How do you feel about Theresa Nist's heartfelt remembrance of her late spouse? 
Share your opinions in the comments section below and don't forget to watch the ABC premiere of the Golden Bachelors final in two weeks. Next week is their break for Thanksgiving. Highlight of the week. Leslie becomes more open to attack in episode 8 of The Golden Bachelor Leslie Fema is demonstrating to Jerry Turner her seriousness about their future together. Until death do us part is unfamiliar to me because I have never experienced it. Leslie, 64, said to Jerry, 72, during the Thursday, November 16 episode of The Golden Bachelor, I've been searching for it my entire life and even through two marriages, those words were foreign to me and uncharted waters for me, prior to their overnight date. Every birthday, I tell myself that I won't be alone the next year. Every year for an entire year, I'm going to find someone, she declared. It's like Groundhog's Day every year. I have my birthday by myself. I want to stop being alone. Really, you are everything I could possibly want. To help her, through the next steps, she asked Jerry. She said, I'm not at all afraid of the commitment, so I know I can do it. You know, you've been in this lovely marriage and you know what it's like to do till death do you part. Literally, I can't stop thinking to myself. She said to the camera, I don't want to do that this time. Sometimes I want to sabotage things that are so good because I'm afraid that it might not be at the end of this. I will confront my concerns, just like I did today. I would much prefer having by my side throughout my life. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.